So here we are at the back door of the Admiral's house. Just me and Shelby. Charles has, um, run after Teeny, who decided to take off running to God knows where. The back door is wide open. Um, not sure if there's anybody else in there or not. This is kind of a well-known place. But I'm just going to go in part of the way. So it looks like somebody tore the door off. If I remember my history, this place was built in 1903. This is some kind of a pantry. It is so freezing cold in here. If you guys can see the steam coming off my breath or not. So here's the kitchen. The two stones. when they leave refrigerators behind because then I feel inclined to open them but then I'm kind of worried about what might be in them but I'm going to have to be brave come on Michelle we're going to have to open this fridge oh thank you God it's empty alright I can't get the freezer open there's a sink area these beautiful built-in china cabinets. And in there is what I believe was the dining room. I'd love to hear from the girl who used to live here that actually watched this one of my videos a while back. I'd love to know if this is the room that they used for the dining room. You scared me. You scared me. And now we'll carry on with our tour. A little bit braver because Charlie's here now. Oh, look at the woodwork up there. Well, the door. Isn't that pretty? One guy told me about the fact that these older houses, when they had um, servants, and a message board with buttons in every room. And then this board right here would tell the servant which room they were being buzzed to. So like I said, I believe this is the dining room. But I would love to hear from that girl who used to live here. And then you come in here and it's like a foyer. And this is a little landing next to the staircase. And the staircase has these built-in shelves. The little room back here is just that. It's just a little room, like a little dressing room. A little cloak room, closet, little half bath thing. And that should be the front door, but it's boarded shut. Now, this has a really pretty, almost um, marble-looking fireplace. If I remember correctly, this one has two, three, four, five, five fireplaces. Here's another one that looks kind of marble. Very pretty. I like the work on the wood up above the fireplace. Um, built in, I believe, 1903. So 110 years old, if my information is correct. And if we hadn't already woken the dead, my husband just did because he's clumping all over the place. So here is first part of the staircase, I think it's just 
gorgeous. Shelby leading the way, my big brave girl. So now we're up here on the second floor. Could you make some more noise? This is just a little closet for the window. It's like a cloakroom again. Give you looking down at a back door. That is board shut. Okay, so up here on the second floor, we have my favorite room. It's a dark wood color. And I believe it's mahogany, but I am no expert on wood. Here is um, another beautiful fireplace. This one's really tall. Really tall. I think I can get back far enough. I'd say I'm five six. I think it's at least five six at the top. This is the room that I like so much. It's got um like what I said I think is mahogany wood trim around the windows, the closet doors, and the fireplace. Very pretty. I guess this could have been like a study or a workroom for the Admiral himself. Just another doorway. Looking out here over the front lawn, there are. Um, Front courses, first and second floor in the front. Someone's pants. I don't think I'll try to find out who the bathroom. I like that uh, little picture built into the wall. And then if we come over here, there's another bedroom. More closet space. Another fireplace that was kind of marble. And this one's really tall, too. Doors that go to the outside. Wow, look at those walls. They look really bad. See this back area right here, where there are some back rooms. Not quite as nice, but still nice. Come on, Jill. Jill, come. Go ahead and make it. Good girl. Go ahead. Go ahead. Another back bedroom. And the bathroom. It's really starting to get dark outside, and a lot of these windows are boarded up, so it's really getting dark inside. Walkway area here for the stairs. That's the second floor landing. Okay, now we're going to go up to the third floor. Really tight stairs. Not as wide as the others. Go ahead, Tini. And these are the ones that I'm holding my camera as still as I can. And you can see where. Definitely not level anymore. Right about there. Tina, you okay? Come on, sweetie.
Huh? Yeah, let's see that one next time. Somebody crashed into it. Closet. Smaller room with a closet. Big windows. Well, there were big windows at one time. And uh, this is a big bathroom. On the other side of that wall where you see the hole is the attic. And that hole up there is the ceiling. And there's two little doors over there lead to the attic. This room, this is the room to the hidden secret room. I just saw somebody out there, out the window. This is attic space. So we crawl through this attic here. I hope there's no spiders in here, but I don't want to know. Shelby, come on. All of a sudden, come into this really pretty room. It's been finished. It has two rather new light fixtures up on the ceiling. Yet, can't figure out why they would have this room that's only accessible through an attic. There's the window right there that I showed you from the back when we entered. It was all the way to the top. And then, of course, there's this window right here. It looks out towards the water. Where's Shelby? What is she doing? We need a working dog. This is a creepy attic. Bunch of doors, windows. I don't like attics. I really don't like attics. Shell, whatever's in there, you don't need to mess with it. Come on. You know what hangs out in attics, so don't you? That. So that's pretty much kind of a quick and dirty trip of the Admiral's house. Love this house. Love the cedar-lined closets. And all the windows. Come on, Shell. I need to see what's the side of the attic, too. More windows, insulation, and it, it does not dead end right there. I wonder what's around the corner. That's round. Huh? That's round. What's around the corner? A Christmas tree stand. It's Christmas like tree stands. There's like three of them. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Stands we go. <laughs> uh, anybody need a Christmas tree stand? There's three of them. All right, let's look in this other one. Shelby, come here. Shelby, come on, Shelby, you can come first. You go first. Go on. Ew, I don't like addicts. I don't like addicts. Uh, thank God there's nothing in there. Come on, Shell. 